So first, can you tell us a little bit about the ELC project and why it's needed? Sure. So the ELC project focuses on very early development and particularly early brain development. And we know that early brain development is really important for, for later life outcomes. So the brain doubles in size in the first year of life. But we don't know very much about what kinds of environments, both the people around a baby or their physical environment or their nutrition, uh, helps them to, to develop their brain um, in an optimal way early on. And to do that, we need really large scale studies where we measure both brain development, but also um, the, the kind of environment a child's growing up in. And then we can look to see if there are links between brain health and, and, and things that might be going on for them. Um, but in order to do that, we need tools that let us measure brain development in kids' homes on a, on a really large scale. And this, uh, this part of the ELC project is, is about developing those tools in collaboration with Ipsos so that we can go into families' homes and see how babies' brain is developing and what they're interested in, what they like to do, and link that into to some of the experiences they're having in, in the everyday world. Can you tell us what is innovative about the methods? So things like the eye tracking and EEG with babies, um, and then, yeah, showing us any of the tech. Yeah. So uh, we use um, devices that we can basically take into people's homes. So usually when we think about eye tracking, so eye tracking measures kind of where babies are paying attention when we show them uh, something on a screen, for example. And so we can track kind of where on a the screen they're looking. And usually they, we measure those things in the lab. Um, but with this study, we can kind of take an eye tracker into people's homes and kind of measure uh, how babies are paying attention to the world around them in a place that they're really comfortable and familiar with. Um, so that's really cool. And the other thing that we have is this um, system called EEG. So it looks a bit like this. And usually in the lab, there's loads and loads of cables attached to it and um, lots of different... Um, big heavy instruments but with this uh, method we can basically put like a little hat on the baby and we can measure uh, what's going on in their brain while they're you know interacting with their parents or while they're watching videos um, or while they're playing for example and then we can learn a lot more about their brain development and their development in general. So the theme for this National Children's Day is the importance of a healthy childhood slash protecting the rights and freedoms of children and young people. If we can draw on any links with the theme and the ELC project. Sure. So, so part of having a healthy childhood is having healthy brain development. And we often think of, you know, a healthy childhood as, as having um, people to play with and, and good food to eat and places to play. And we know that all those things are really important for, for healthy brain development as well as other aspects of, of the physical development of the child. And one thing we want to do with this with this ELC study is to understand how those factors and, and which of those factors are most important for healthy brain development and how can we then learn what to do for children to, to help them reach reach their own sort of optimal outcome. So we at Ipsos are working with the team to do a feasibility study. So we're working together to develop uh, materials for the programme, training, getting a set of interviewers ready and then we'll be getting those interviewers to go out and do an initial 100 interviews in in homes, in families' homes to really just see, see what happens, see if it works and then we'll be gathering learnings from doing that set of uh, initial 100 interviews and learning about what happens when we go out into those homes and we use those measures rather than doing it in the lab, taking those into families' homes and sharing those learnings back so that it can later be rolled out across the much larger uh, full ELC study itself. Um, and we are still recruiting for this study, so um, we're looking for babies between 6 and 12 months old in the Cambridge or London regions who want to join us and help us learn about babies' brain development.